Well, <clears throat> good morning, YouTube. It is uh, July 30th, 2014. It's been a little while. I've been wanting to get back on YouTube, show off one of my newest masterpieces. Well, uh, not a masterpiece, but you know, my newest mod, which I'm pretty proud of. It's really nice. But I just had foot surgery done, so it kind of laid me up for a little while. I'm able to get back to my desk here with a big old giant splint on my foot. Had a bunion surgery done. It was about time to get it done. It just got worse after 13 years. So, anyway, here I am. And what I want to show you today is I got a couple of new pieces. I actually got me my Stingray 26650 mod. Okay, very nice mod. It's a clone. I'm not sure who makes this clone, but it's all copper clone. Copper mod. It's really cool is the texture wrap on here. It's like a, I don't know, some type of a textured overlay on top of the, the breasts. Okay, pretty cool actually. It's comfortable. It gives you a pretty good grip and you don't attract any fingerprints. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together. And then I'm going to rewick my newest build on my IGO W9. It's got a W9 22 millimeter atomizer. Oh, I wanted to show you I like the emblem on the bottom of this. Pretty cool. That's on the fire button. But anyways, my W9 that's the newest IGO. It's pretty nice. But I'm waiting for my ma my vape mail today, hopefully, hopefully today or tomorrow, and I'll get my W14. I go W14 is a 28 and a half millimeter, 28 and a half millimeter atomizer. It's gonna look really nice on this stingray. All right, so what I did last night is I built dual parallel coils. See if you can see those. They're parallels. 24 gauge. Ohms out at 0.16 ohms. Five wraps. So it's actually 10. It looks like 10 wraps, but they're being that there's two wires in there. There we go. I got a good picture of it now. Nice coils, actually. Okay. The beauty about this atomizer is you can do quads in here see plenty of space in those holes to put more wire I could probably do quad dual uh, quad parallels in here without too much of an issue the holes are big enough with the 24 gauge canton but I tried a quad setup in it already that's quad single you know single wrap coils and I got it down to 0 0.09 and I didn't see a huge difference on the vapor production from doing you know like a 0 0.1 build and it was killing my battery pretty I mean it was getting pretty hot so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna whip this guy up I'm not gonna do the coil build for you because you know, it's a little time consuming but I just did this build last night it's actually pretty nice. Let's see if I can get a good zoom on that coil. And that's that's what it is. So I I'm gonna use something out of my normal, it's going to be a cotton ball, organic cotton, instead of my unbleached. And the reason is, is that the cotton ball is a little more uniform, because I'm going to actually put a decent amount of cotton in here, being that this is, you know, pretty hot build. It sucks up juice really quick. <clears throat> 
pretty fast. I mean, it's not extremely horribly fast, but it's faster than you know running du dual single coils. Now, if you notice on this atomizer, there's also a vertical coil. Seems to be the case with most of the IGOs. Yeah, when I get my IGO W14, I'm actually going to build tricoil in it. That's a tricoil atomizer. I'm going to build three parallels in there. I should get it to about 0 0.7, 0 0.8 ohms. Maybe I should lock my fire pin because I just burned my finger. <laughs> A little more difficult to feed the cotton through these coils, being that they're vertical. The bottom of that coil is pretty close to the deck. Now I'm actually going to make a nice size cloud in here because a cotton cloud, because of the fact that it burns pretty fast, pretty hot. So I need it to absorb as much cotton as, or much juice as possible. Fluffy strand of cotton. Bear with me. Make sure I keep those coils of white or bare. On the sides. So this way the airflow comes right past that coil without any cotton blocking it. And then gonna, instead of trimming the top of the cotton, I'm actually going to cross it over. Cross it over. I'll trim it a little bit. I don't want it to cover the coil at all. On the opposite side. Cross it over through the posts. Just get that extra little cotton in there. Looking good. So, again, look what it looks like there. See the coil on the side. It's wide open. The cotton, nice, decent cloud there. Okay. Nice. Now, let's go ahead and throw on the bottom cap. Make sure that those coils appear right in the middle of that air hole. Got the air hole on the side of the mid cap there. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and saturate it. Of course, you guessed it. Vanilla custard, thick vanilla custard from Steam Juice. Tried other juices and still keep going back to the thick vanilla custard. Gotta love it. It's so delicious. It's hard to burn out on it. Get these wicks saturated nicely. Yeah, like I said, this uh, this uh, build in here is homing out at 0.16 ohms. And I'll throw it on my own meter before I fire it, just to let you see. And it'll give this a chance to totally wick up as well. Oh, 
Oh, came up to point two. What happened there? I owned it out last night at point one six. Interesting. Huh. Wonder if the burning. Well, I like it's point two oh now. Uh, after I first built these last night, it was point one six. It's kind of crazy. I wonder if maybe one of my legs lost connection or something. Well, that's beside the case. Who cares? It actually is H. Really nice the way it is. So let's put it back on the on the mod here. Now I also had there's three little air holes on the side of the top cap. I actually drilled out the top air hole to 564 on both sides. I didn't drill out the two bottoms because of the fact that they're too close together. I didn't want to make one giant clusterfuck hole on there. But actually the airflow is pretty nice on it. Just like this. It actually improved it a lot. Okay. Let me use my black ferrule drip tip that I had polished down. Left it black in the center. I like that drip tip a lot. Alright, so here we go. Let's give it a fire and give it a bait. See what she can do. Zoom out on this. Okay, we are zoomed out. Good. <laughs> Freaking delicious. Yep, that's my newest one. It's a beast. Okay, big. It's got some weight to it. But you know what? I love it. I've got my Panasonic batteries coming in today as well. Hopefully today. I'm using right now the H cigars. They're a decent battery. I uh, got them at the local shop just to get me going on this. But I do got the Panasonics coming in. Should hit a little bit harder. I'll take another video. I'll actually take a one second hit off of this and let's see what one second can do. Not bad, right? Pretty impressive. Wait till I do my tri parallels in here. Well, <clears throat> until I get my new vape mail in, vape on. Have a great day, and as soon as I get my new atomizer, I'll be back.